sometimes the real little guns are fun on Gun Talk, but sometimes it's the big guns. So, Taurus, right? Did you know that Taurus is the biggest revolver manufacturer in the world by volume of units? That's pretty cool, I didn't realize that. But we're playing with the Raging Hunter and Taurus has been in the handgun hunting, big frame revolver game for a while and they're known for this. I mean, the Raging Hunter, known for, you've got uh, ported barrel, you've got rail on top for optics, you have a lot of cool things going on. Now, it's available in 460 Smith & Wesson. Why is that a big deal? Well, 460 more power. And what it also lets you do, you're starting to reach out to further distances. Another thing that's kind of neat about the 460 is you can shoot other stuff in it. You can shoot 454 Casul, you can shoot 45 Colt. You could actually even shoot 45 Schofield if you were to run across a box of that. But the 460 lets you do absolutely big game hunting, really anywhere you can take this all over the world, and uh, a lot of power. So as you can see, we've got a target down there. We're gonna shoot a little bit, and let's talk about shooting these big revolvers and controlling the recoil and kind of riding the bull. Now this is something you're typically gonna shoot single action, trying to be accurate on animals, that kind of thing. So that's how I'm gonna shoot this one. Now, yeah, there's a lot of recoil with this, but it actually, the way they've designed this, it doesn't beat me up. Yeah, the gun rides up in recoil and that's fine, but the grip on here is a little cushy. It kind of gives with it. And obviously it's a really big gun. There's a lot of weight out front and the ported barrel helps control that recoil too. So, you know, you just have to hold on tight, kind of ride the recoil and come back down. Now there's a few different models of this Raging Hunter 460 Smith & Wesson. You have different barrel lengths and you have the two-tone version, which is the one I have here, or you have the all-black version. You can mount optics on it, like a red dot, or you can actually have a magnified pistol optic, which will let you reach out to those further distances. It's a cool gun, it's a whole lot of fun, and who doesn't like more power? <laughs> 